All right. Thanks for being with me, Vicki. So you got a Vicki and a Vicki. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I just wanted to bring you on and share you with people because you are having such great success with storytelling. And I know at one point you didn't feel that way. <laughs> so can you take me back to like the summertime when we met and you started finding out about like what I do and the storytelling programs that I have and then like maybe a little bit about like your first tries at it to see what happened during that time. Oh, and tell us who you are. <laughs> oh, I'm Vicki Ariadne and I'm, well, some people, most people know me as the therapist with the magic hands who makes impossible possible emotionally and physically with whatever pain points they have, chronic pain points that they've had amazing results with me after exhausting all other medical um, options. Anyway, uh, I met Vicki at a driven event and signed up for her um, emails. And am I ever so glad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad too. <laughs> Thank you. Because you know, I want to be seen and I want to be understood as a professional and because I don't have a doctor's degree people look at me well if my doctor can't help me what makes you think you can help me mm -hmm. and so I needed to get past that and Vicki's taught me how to do that <laughs> so share a little bit about your first stab at sharing your story how did that go Gosh. <laughs> I was all over the place it was long and drawn out. Uh, people were walking away from me. It was time to listen to the dramas that was going on and all the details. They wanted the juicy details. And so Vicki has taught me how to hone in on the juicy details, get straight to the point and do it powerfully and impactfully. And I even surprised myself today. <laughs> You did today? What happened today? Well, not today, today, but like I'm writing my book with you, of course, and um, I'm like, I'm liking how it's coming out. I mean, yeah. I'm learning how to tell the story mm -hmm. in a way that just draws in my readers, and I wouldn't have done that without you. Yeah. I was learning some of that with my other coaching program. But it really wasn't the same. And I feel like I'm getting more one-on-one -on -one with you, even though we're doing it on Facebook and virtually, I'm mm -hmm. feeling like your guidance, your instructions, your feedback, your do it over. <laughs> How many times did I tell you to do that over? <laughs> Maybe people don't really want to know that, but. <laughs> <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so funny because when I, when I did my, every time I did my do-overs, I was doing self-therapy. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. So I'm like, okay, I'm learning how to be more effective, not only with me, but with my audience. And I love it. And I know you were a little bit, um, what I love about you, first of all, I want to say, is okay. you're a bit kamikaze like I am. <laughs> like, very coachable, right? You tell you something to do, and you just go out and do it. That's the way I was when I was an ice skater. You know, my coach was always like, you're just going to try anything I tell you to do, right? right. And I'm like, yeah, well, you're the, you're the coach, so I'm just going to do it, right? right. Um, and you came to me, and you're like, I'm just going to do whatever you tell me to do. Yeah disregard the fears or the whatever, or I don't know if it's good enough and what are people going to think? You just start putting it out there. Right. And tell me what happened when you started putting different stories out on social media, the way we framed them. Oh my gosh. Before you happened in my life, <laughs> I would put out social media po posts thinking that I was doing it to draw a crowd and I was getting crickets. I mean, it's like oh, every now and then some of my best friends would make a comment or give me some likes. But now, oh my gosh, I put out a post and 
and people are just gravitating and jumping on and sharing. I get more shares and more comments, more likes and more engagement. I mean, I'm getting engagement with other people that I don't even know who are engaging with the people that I know. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just multiplying. <laughs> That's amazing. And then you're getting on sales calls and getting yeah. more clients and yes. all that stuff. And yes. you never thought that was going to happen. I remember you kind of were like, hmm, social media doesn't really work that well for me. It didn't. Yeah. What do you <laughs> think now? <laughs> Until I had Vicki Gould on steroids dropping <laughs> bombs on me like, do this, do that, do this. No, redo it. It's okay. You got this. You got this. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. And I am. <laughs> yep, yep. And I mean, you know, there are stories out there, like your big why story. That's the one that you're talking about, you know, that we redid over and over and over again, because that's a pretty important one for right. your business. But right. when you're talking about like the everyday stories to put out there to get the engagement and get people interested in your topic, mm -hmm. you haven't had to have a lot of instruction. You just use the framework and you just started putting stuff out there based on that framework, right? Because, yeah, because you showed me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and it just, it's, it's natural for me now. Yeah. Yeah. I'll start off, I'll either start off with a question to pique interest and then I get into my story or a, did you know? And I get right into, and it didn't used to be like this or it, it's just unfolding very beautifully. So Thank you very much. And I, I love what you're saying here too, because people, I don't want people to walk away thinking, oh my gosh, Vicki's just saying that it's really hard and she's going to have, you know, she's going to make me do 50 zillion re revisions and stuff like that. There comes a point that once it clicks, it oh, clicks yeah. and it starts becoming so natural now that you don't have to think about it so much, right? Right. Well, I would be highly disappointed in you if you let me stumble all over myself and put out horrible content and not get the results and not serve me like you promised you would serve me and you're serving me like you promised you would <laughs> and i'm serving me and you and everybody else by following your coaching just like i said i would i will yeah. do whatever you tell me to do i will be your best student <laughs> and i, I love remember that. those words I remember them too. I love that so much about you because I know that you're not going to let stuff stand in your way because right. so often people get stuck in, oh, it has to be exactly perfect. It has to be a certain way. You put stuff out there that wasn't as good as the stuff that you put out now. Right. But you put it out there. Right. And that is the step forward that I think people need to take, you know, example from you that you don't have to be perfect. You just have to start. And as you start, it creates that momentum and then you get better at it. And then now it just eventually becomes natural. And it's not like it was a long time. I don't want people to think it's a long time either. This has been since summer until now. So it's been like a half a year. Actually, it's only been since September. Yeah. We, the, the Detroit event was September 4th through yep. the 6th of or something. Yeah. We didn't get started right away. Yeah, I didn't really get started until October. But right. here's what happened when I'm putting out not so hot posts. Uh -huh. I'm still getting a presence. People are familiar with my name. They see me. And I'm familiar to them. It's it's like, well, I've seen her many times. Now, look at what she's Oh, my gosh, look what she's putting you know out. You, now. Tapped, you know what you tapped into there, Vicki? What? It's the Facebook algorithm. Oh. you have been interesting to people in the past yes now it thinks that everything you put out is interesting to people oh. it's going to show people your stuff more often because they want timelines to be interesting and you have right. proven that you're interesting so yay, yay. and you know <laughs> it, the engagements i'm getting are amazing yeah i yeah. mean it's it's like Wow, we have a conversation going here. Yeah, and it just it's, been, going. it's been so amazing to just watch it unfold. I remember that conversation that you had with me, and you're like, "Oh my gosh, it's working!" <laughs> I'm like, "Yeah, I know." I know because I remember three years ago I was watching this telesummit with all these entrepreneurs talking about how they um, made it on social media. 
and I took copious notes. I mean, I have two notebooks full of notes yeah. from that uh, tele uh, summit. And here I am struggling this whole three years trying to figure out my niche and how to get my foot in the door with it and it's not working. And that's when I told you, social media just really doesn't work. I do better belly to belly, but yeah. guess what? From October till December, uh -huh. I got it. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. So it really isn't that long. That, it didn't really take me that long right. once I had those missing key elements. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing. And I look forward to watching you go, oh my gosh, it's working even more and more this upcoming. Yeah, yeah I've got a lot of hits on my book coming out too. So yeah. yay. Thank yeah. you, Vicki. So exciting. Thank my you. My pleasure being working okay. with you. Oh, I love having you. Thank right. you.